Dumpty dum dum dum. to pay for Uncle Quigley's stupid doll. You're the one who broke it. But you're the one who summed up a whirlwind to do the dusting and didn't read the directions. For, for outdoor, outdoor use, use only. only. If you just occasionally get the facts before you leap into things. I would have no fun. Meanwhile, I need a job or I'll be on half allowance until I'm 30. Ooh, they need crust scrapers down at the car wash. I was thinking more like, Cover model for romance novels. <sighs> Gaze into the brilliant blue of my eyes, Fabio. Sure, right after I chuck a hairball into the brilliant pink of Zelda's house slipper. <gasps> Here we go. Beauty, poise, and talent show. First prize, a hundred dollars? Sorry, kid, but you winning that show is a fantasy in search of an island. Get practical. Now you're the one jumping to conclusions. It's a show for cats. Oh, well, you mean I should enter? Now that's practical. I just knew you'd like the idea. Hey, with these rugged good looks and my warlock abilities, I'll make those Junior League cats look like something the dog dragged in. I hate this thing. I'm sorry. I didn't know all the cats had to be in cages. But wasn't it nice of that lady to loan us her birdcage? Peachy, it would have been even nicer if you'd checked out the rules before we got here. Here come the judges. Try to look dazzling. You try to look dazzling with your knee and your liver. Got it made in the shade. <gasps> They're announcing the winner. The winner of the beauty competition is... Shahrazad. Huh? Owner, Harvey Kinkle. Harvey? Hey, Sabrina. Since when do you own a cat? Since Monday. Shahrazad just showed up on my doorstep. She had a collar with her name on it. She's incredible, Sabrina. You won't believe what she can do. Time for the poise contest. <laughs> All right, I admit she's not bad looking for a Persian. Luckily, this contest is also about poise. And poise is my middle name. <laughs> My! What? The winner, Shahrazad! There's still the talent contest. Shahrazad will be available for more photos at our press conference. Congratulations on winning first prize, Harvey. Cheer up, Sabrina. 
Second place is winning, too. Except without the fame and glory and money. Show off. Hey! Hmm. If I didn't know you were just a cat, I'd... I'd... You'd what, Salem darling? <laughs> Come on, girl. Time for our press conference. See you later, Sabrina. I... 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 Holy free... Holy... Salem, what's wrong? Scheherazade. She's not a cat. She's a witch. And what's more, I once almost married her. Really? Are you sure it's her? She looked human then, but I'd know her voice anywhere. It was over 400 years ago before the witch's council turned me into a cat. Last time I saw her, I'd promised to meet her at the Tower of London. We had tickets to that Anne Boleyn thing. She didn't know it, but I was planning to pop the question that night. You were? Oh, that is so sweet. So, what did she say? I have no idea. I stood her up. Salem, you didn't. I, I couldn't help it. I got scared. I panicked. I ran. And broke her heart. Look, I've been regretting it for four centuries. Scheherazade was the only woman I ever really le... le that, that thing when you like someone, but bigger. I think you mean love. Whatever. But see, I've always had this teeny tiny problem with commitment. The minute things get serious with a woman, my feet start heading for the Himalayas. You can't run forever, Salem. No, but 400 years is a good start. Look, maybe meeting her like this was fate. I mean, as long as you've both been turned into cats, you could pick up the romance where you left off. How about it? But what if she still hates me for standing her up? After 400 years? You know how women hold grudges. That's ridiculous. And I'll never forgive you for saying it. Now come on, you've got some serious making up to do. Jeharazad? I was a cad. Please forgive me. Jeharazad, I, I was a cad. Please forgive me. Jeharazad, I killed a clam. Please forgive me. You're not getting away from me this time, Katsanova. <gasps> So you forgive me for standing me out 400 years ago? Believe me, darling, there's nothing to forgive. Turtles, I'm off to Tibet. Huh? But you're in love with Scheherazade. Tell my feet about it. They're running away and the rest of me is attached. Salem. I can't do it, Sabrina. I'm afraid to commit. Salem, I'm ashamed of you. Do you want to spend the rest of your life a slave to your fears? Sounds good to me. See ya. Then we have to get you over your fear. Look. The only way to overcome your fear of commitment is to work up to it gradually. Start with a small commitment, oh. something you never do anyway. Like, oh, never going to planet Pluto in winter. Yeah, I can do that. I will definitely never visit the planet Pluto in winter. But what if the sun goes nova in a billion years in winter, and the only safe place is the farthest planet from the sun, Pluto? <laughs> I can't do it. I need my options. Huh? Don't ask. Aunt Zelda, is there some spell for a person with a fear of commitment? Sure, you turn him into a cat. I mean, to make them love someone so much they want to spend the rest of their lives together? 
Sabrina, it's not smart to mess in other people's love lives. Even for a witch, love has to take its own course. In this case, love is taking its course straight to Tibet. I am not giving up that easily. Okay, Spooky Jar, I need a spell. Dreams of love will haunt your sleep. But get the facts before you leave! <laughs> In my day, witches listen to their jars. Hmm, suddenly, very sleepy. Honey, I'm home. Darling, I've cooked an extra special dinner. Mmm, mouse loaf. Daddy's home! Daddy's home! Daddy's home! <gasps> Let's sing the daddy song, children. We love Daddy, he's so great. He puts mouses on our plate. He is good looking, brave, and trim. We want to grow up just like him. Once more, children. We love Daddy, he's so great. He puts mouses on our plate. Good-looking, brave, and trim. <laughs> Sabrina, you're right! It's time I took the plunge. I'm asking Scheherazade to marry me. Marry? Wow! That's way more commitment than I was expecting. Oh, I can't believe it! Our Salem is getting married! Who's the lucky feline? A witch he used to know. Her name is Scheherazade. Scheherazade? Not that man-eater. When she gets done with Salem, there'll be nothing left but his paw prints. You must be thinking of a different Scheherazade. Salem broke this one's heart 400 years ago when he stood her up at that Anne Boleyn thing. I remember that night. Scheherazade wasn't anywhere near London. Michelangelo was throwing a big party in Rome. Scheherazade was clinging to Mike like paint to a chapel ceiling. Maybe Salem thinks he stood her up, but she's really the one who dumped him. Of Course, that was before she got turned into a cat for stealing the husband of every witch on the council. I... I don't believe it. It can't be the same one, can it? Hmm, maybe I'd better do some investigating. Here's some fresh spring water, Scheherazade. From the Alps, of course. That's right, Hazel. I said married. Look, by the time Salem catches on, it will be too late. You know the rules. If I win the love of a warlock, the spell on me is broken. So, the second Salem says I do, I return to human form, and then it's goodbye, Salem. I'm off to Palm Beach. Oh, man. Hilda was right about Scheherazade. She only wants to marry Salem so she can be human again. Why didn't I check it out before I put that spell on him? <gasps> it's official. This stinks. <laughs> This is one small step for a cat, one giant leap for a confirmed bachelor. Huh? Come on, feet, move. You're never getting your cloud slippers at this rate. That's more like it. Salem, wait! You can't marry Scheherazade. I know all about that. You do? Sure. 
I do my research. Legally, cats cannot marry in this state, which is why Scheherazade and I are getting hitched in the netherworld. That isn't what I mean. I mean that Scheherazade only wants to marry you to break that spell that turned her into a cat. She doesn't love you, Salem. It's all a big con job. I should have known. I should have known you'd test my commitment with a wacko story like that. That's really nice of you, Sabrina, but there's no need. I'm definitely going through with it. Sorry, no time for games. I'm meeting Scheherazade at the Beyond the Veil Wedding Chapel. Don't want to be late to my own. Salem! Salem, come back! I have to make it believe. Whoa! thousand doors, I really hate this place. Salem! No entry? Keep out? Faculty lounge? Occupado? Please use other door? Ugh! That's gotta be it! At least it didn't lead to the dock of a thousand boats. Where to, sister? The Beyond the Veil Wedding Chapel, and hurry! You got it! Yes, indeed, you got it! Yeah! Huh. I told you not to interfere! Look before you leave. Excuse me, is this the swan boat, Biancas? You want the local? Thanks. Could you slow down? Real bad! Yeah! <laughs> you know, I lose more tips that way. Phew. And here comes Salem! I have to find some way to show Salem what kind of woman Scheherazade really is! Huh? Huh! Got it! We will see how she responds to the charms of Frenchy, the great French lover. If that louse really stands me up, he's going to have a space to rent between his shoulders. Oh, any cat who would do such a thing has the escargot for the brain. Hey, slow down, lover boy. More apologies if I give you offense. I said slow down. I didn't say stop. <laughs> I'll teach that guy to make Kitty Whoopie with my girl. Not that he needs any lessons. Scheherazade won't put up with that creep for long. And so the witches council, they turn me into the cat for making the love when I should have been making the magic. How tragic. Yep, she'll deck him any hour now. How do I know you're really a warlock and not just some French alley cat? Could the alley cat do? <laughs> this? Ooh! For me? If you say you will be my wife, it is yours. Say we. We, 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 all the way home, lover boy. All right, I've had enough. <gasps> Salem. Come on, Scheherazade. Sorry, Salem, but there's a better offer on the table. Not to mention the one on my paw. I thought we had something special. We did, darling. But a Frenchie is, as the Americans put it, da bomb. Face it, Tomcat, you are the loser. Oh, yeah? Well, this loser's about to kick your frog leg eating batty, pal. Wait for me inside, mon chéri, while I settle things with this Tomcat. Don't be long, lover boy. I've got some zings that need settling myself. 
Shahrazad was really like. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and by the way, that was the worst French accent I've ever heard in my life. You knew? <laughs> hey, I pulled the same stunt to get out of marrying Marie Antoinette's cat. <sighs> so long, Shahrazad. Guess I'll have to find somebody else to sing the daddy song. The what song? Ah, it doesn't matter. Come on, I'll let you buy me a tuna sandwich. So you're not mad at me? No, but next time, remember... I know. Look before I leap. Uh, I was thinking, do a background check before you set somebody up, but yours is good, too. I just remembered. I'm still on half allowance until I pay for Uncle Quigley's doll. Though with Scheherazade out of the picture, the next cat show will be a snap. We'll go with the cowboy theme. I'll get you some chaps and a 10-gallon hat. I've got a better idea. This time, you be the cat. Hey, wait a minute. Now, I see you in a tutu and roller skates. Oh, and, and can you gargle the Star Spangled Banner? Love you.